by a Mr. Jowett. Breakfast? Why, lass, I's not hungry. I never thought on for to eat. And as breet as a bullis this morning when I ought to be dead on me feet. Last night there'll be never out like it if I lived to a hundred and ten. I've been changed our neat somehow, Mary, and I've kept how it happened and when. You recall that young couple fra Nazareth? We'd nowhere to put them in din, so I found them a place down in Cushed, at where they were desperate thin. So when I'd all visitors settled and though fast asleep in the bed, I loosened out Jess from her kennel and they wended me way down to shed. It was Breton a daily tin fowled yard. Almost midnight it was, moon at full, not a glimmer for a foundry in village, and snow lay on ground soft as wool. They'd had nought to eat to me knowledge, so I took em a bite and a sup, and some oil in case lamp wanted thrimming. And happens to lap bairn up. Well, I tended to coos and to Jenny, and I'd never known cattle such harm. Then I took some straw down from manger to make sure as bairn was warm. I don't think they noticed me scarcing as I round about siding spot through. He'd been taken up in looking at bairn, and its mother had same name as though. So it's such a weak on his thing it were Mary. Poor Ben almost lost a monk straw. But I couldn't disturb him much longer, so I left him and stood out in snow. Such a straight neat it was, strange and quiet as I leaned up against door jam, then I thought that I heard sound of music as those stars were singing a psalm. At first, well, I thought I was dreaming, but they heard it at pinfold and all, and I saw them come rushing down the hillside and making their way straight to the stall. There were Reuben and Shep and young Davy. They'd been up at top tenting sheep, They'd been told to come down into the village where they'd find little Ben asleep. Now, strangest of all were out Reuben leaving lambs knob at yesterday born. But all he would say when I asked him, the Lord'll take care of his own. But something were drawing me, Mary. So I went in with Reuben and his men. We stood a while looking at Ben. But I hardly knows what happened then. We went down on our knees there in stable while Mother took bairn of her knee and crooned a soft lullaby o'er it. Time we knelt, Reuben, Shep, Dave and me. Now God spends his element on them lovely. Our own were a bonny wee thing, and I play we em, nos em, and love em. But we know like we would to the king. And that's why I's not very hungry. I'd like to row mills all day long. But with visitors' victuals to see to very soon we'll be both in a throng. But first, walk with me down to Cushed. I feel one day when we're getting old we'll be glad we looked after that bairn and find it a place out it cold. <laughs>